So the BERT, the Barrett Upper Extremity Robotic Device, is used for retraining the brain after a stroke or a neurological injury, and it can work on strengthening the shoulder, it can work on reaching forward, um, it can translate into more functional tasks. So somebody who's reaching up to reach up in their kitchen cabinet, um, it can work, progress people towards that. And then the, the BITS, uh, the BioNest BITS, is a device that it can be used by all disciplines. Uh, the occupational therapists and physical therapists and speech therapists all utilize it in their treatment sessions. And it can be used for standing and working on reaching outside of their base of support. It can also work on upper extremity strengthening, reaching um, upwards outside of their base of support and then working on visual scanning and some cognitive tasks as well. The BioNest Bits uses some uh, items on the screen, so it might be visual targets like green and red dots that they have to touch. Then there might be a component of visual scanning where the, the um, image is still and they have to hit the specific image that they're told to select. And then there's also moving target, so them adapting and they're working on their reaction time. And then there's some components of cognitive uh, games on there as well, so they might have to follow directions or um, problem solve, things like that. Dysphagia is the difficulty swallowing. Dysphagia is very common in the inpatient rehab setting after patients have strokes or brain injuries. The Synchrony Dysphagia System works on providing visual biofeedback to the patient so they can actually see their swallow. In the past, we have been doing general swallowing exercises, but the patients weren't able to see the progress, whereas with the Synchrony, it turns it into swallowing games. So the Free Step Overhead Harness System allows us to safely engage our patients in higher level activities and not worry about them falling. We can, you know, leaves our hands free, We're not, you know, being that they're not going to fall. We have our hands free to stimulate muscle groups that we want them to activate. Um, we can better manage their limbs when they can't manage them themselves, like say after a stroke, and do it in a safe way that our patients feel comfortable with, that relieves them of their fear of falling because they can't fall. They're in a harness system that allows them to work their reactive responses in a way that we just couldn't do without it.